Hey everybody, it's Owen, and today I have another idea set. This is the Flintstones. So this is basically just like a caveman family that are just, you know, live in this little rock house. But they coexist with dinosaurs, which obviously they didn't in reality. And they're more modernized, like they have inventions, but they're like rocks and stuff because, you know, they didn't have technology back then. Ugh. So, uh, yeah, cool concept. I like it. And uh, now we got an idea set of it. So, let's get this guy opened. All right. So this side comes with six bags and an instruction booklet, so no stickers, which is pretty cool. I don't like stickers. I mean, they're all right, but I'd rather not use them because I always mess them up. <laughs> so in the booklet, it's basically just your standard idea set fair. You got about your fan designer and the Lego designers. You got about the Flintstones and like what they are and a little bit of a bio. Basically the premise of the Flintstones is about two families, the Flintstones and the Rubbles. They just go through basically everyday problems. Fred hopes to leave his job at the dinosaur quarry and become a rich and wealthy person. And Barney's a loyal friend to Fred, even though sometimes they fight a little bit. Wilma's getting into trouble with her friend Betty. And it was actually the biggest moneymaker in terms of animated shows until The Simpsons showed up. So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get building. Alright guys, here's the completed set. Let's take a closer look. Here is Fred. He's got his short black hair and his classic Flintstones outfit, that being his like spotted shirt with that light blue tie. And all of that is like a ripped suit kind of feel. He has that five o'clock shadow, like unshaved look. And this is on the expression. Right, that's Fred. Here is Wilma. She has her torn dress with a pearl necklace, which is pretty cool. She has her curvy orange hair, and she has two facial expressions. She has her normal smiling face, and her kind of like concerned-ish face. Like, what are you doing, kind of sort of thing. I don't know, you guys can judge this accordingly in the comment section. Tell me what you think. All right, that's Wilma. Here is Barney. He has the same hair as Fred, except blonde instead of black. He also has that five o'clock shadow sort of thing. And then he has a torn up brown, casual shirt, like a button shirt, and he does not have two facial expressions out. That's Barney. Here is Betty. She has her long black hair and her actually nice looking dress. She has like a rock necklace, you can see. It's kind of like a rock. It's pretty cool. She has two faces, her normal smiling face and her closed eyed open mouth smiling face. All right, that's Betty. And something I believe these minifigures could have benefited from is a 3D sculpted head because these Minifigure heads don't really capture the head shape of the Flintstones, so I feel like it benefit from something with like the, what the Simpsons did. And also something, Barney in the show is shorter than Fred, but all the min since all the minifigures are the same height, it doesn't really portray that. They could have just been able to use kid legs with a uh, Barney head, but I don't know. Here is the car. You can see it's got like these log kind of wheels where it's one solid piece, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna remove this for now just so that you can see the whole car. I'll talk about that in a sec. We've got this like fabric top that's nice and stretchy and it really portrays the car more instead of a solid piece because I mean, it's supposed to be like a rag sort of thing above their car. We got a log steering wheel, which is a really nice touch. You got a movable dashboard, but it just tells you to keep it slanted. So I'm just gonna do that. We got a seating area in here that can seat what looks to be four minifigures. There's six studs and each minifigure takes up two studs. But something that I do wish they had, they just sit in the car instead of them having their legs underneath. But what I could, what you can do to fix, to have that is you pop out the seating piece and then you just pop them in here like this. But I would only recommend doing this if you really like the show and you want to make sure everything is accurate as possible because, I mean, you can barely see his feet. But what you are meant to do is this, and you just plug them in the seat and there you go. But a third option I just came up with, 
pop off the legs and just and get out of there. Now it kind of looks like he's in the car, but again, it's not perfect, but it works. Here is the back. You can see we got like a back windshield, which is pretty cool. And bringing back that rib stack is basically simulating in one little clip where the Flintstones and the Rubbles go to like a drive-in eatery and they buy some ribs and they just put it on the side of their car. And the show is supposed to... And here's everybody in the car. You can see you fit everybody in there. And then you put the stack ribs on there and it looks complete. All right, that's the car. Here is the classic Flintstones house. You got a mailbox that says Flintstones and has a little letter in it. The front has some pebbles and some rock details, plus some plants. You can see we got those nice flowers up there. We got some bottles, we got some windows. We got some nice tiger curtain detail. The door is in a nice aqua color and obviously it opens. Eh. And on the side, you can see you got a nice palm tree, which is giving me some SpongeBob vibes, honestly. <laughs> and then you got some coconuts up here. A little hard to see because they're a little hidden, but we got them up there. Up here, we got a nice chimney. It's got some really nice rock detail to make it seem like the chimney's actually made out of rocks. Same with the roof, but to a little bit of a lesser extent, you can see. It's just got some uh, circular pieces. He turned this around to reveal a nice and detailed interior. In here, we got a cloud-shaped table with some fruit in it. We got a nice white sofa. We got a picture of a mammoth on the wall with some with a palm tree and it's a nice land detail. Behind the couch, there's a fireplace and that's what's connected to the chimney. We got a TV, an old-style TV with these like antennas. Next to the TV, we got a little drawer, which kind of hidden away, and we got a telephone that they use a croissant piece for, which is pretty clever in my opinion. Got a nice lamp and a box which appears to be full of bowling stuff. You got some pins and a bowling ball, which is just like a simple cannonball piece. And like that cram a lot into such a small area. For example, the fireplace behind the couch is clearly a hazard because you know the couch is gonna catch on fire. If it's so accurate, then it's understandable, but if it's not, then it's just seems kind of crammed and kind of lazy design. And for even more playability, you can open these bits and you can just plug in some figures. You can see we got Betty and Wilma talking by the phone and then we got Barney and Fred watching some TV. And on the TV is a news report saying that Dean and the Dinosaur is missing. But I feel like they could have expanded on this set a little bit, like they could have included Bam Bam and Pebbles. And they could have made like some kitchen area where they had some appliances that were run by animals. Maybe just make the house bigger to include more of that. Because I feel like when they do this where like it folds out and it's just kind of like a gap and it's not covered by anything, it's like meh. It's a nice little set, but it's kind of expensive for what it is. So that was my Flintstone set video. Tell me what you think of this set, and tell me if you've seen the cartoon, and tell me your favorite cartoon in the comments section. Mine is not The Simpsons anymore. The first person to guess the cartoon gets a shout out in my next video. So drop a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.